I hope you're doing well today. I think it was the last video I did, or maybe one before, if you're watching it, I, I asked what you want. It's a really important step, you know, to find, to get really clear on what we want, why we want it, what it will do for us. But I think perhaps a, a more important point is what I asked a little bit later. And that was essentially what stops you from having it already. <clears throat> you know, I find that if we can um, address, overcome, heal, the things that stop us, the, pat the behavioral patterns, the emotional patterns, we tend to take a lot more effective action in our life, a lot more spontaneous action, a lot more integral action. You know, think about it, all these barriers are removed. You know, we're free to act in a much more authentic way. If we're not reacting based on these patterns, then we're free to really, really engage with life. We become responsible, we're able to respond. So going back to you know, something that stops you all, I want you to think of a pattern right now. It could be a behavioral pattern like procrastination or indecision. <clears throat> It could be an emotional one, like like uh, a stress, being overstressed, anxious. And I want, you, I want you to answer the following questions. You can write them down. Very, very first question. How do you benefit from having the problem? Again, let's say it's procrastination. How do you benefit from procrastinating? When I ask that question, in a, in a session, people always say, well, you know, I don't benefit. But what I've found is that you actually do. Otherwise, you'd solve the problem. There is some sort of at least perceived benefit at some level, probably not a conscious one. So for instance, the benefit might be to, to stay safe. Or that you get to be right, or a sense of control or you know, whatever. So there's a benefit. The second question you can ask is now that, now that you know the benefit, what is this pattern costing you and people close to you? So what's it costing you and people close to you? For instance, it might cost peace. It might cost enjoyment. It might cost money. It might cost care and affection. There's so many possible costs behind it. So what what is it costing you? The next question you can ask is this pattern, whatever it is, what need is it trying to meet for you? There's a need underneath. So what need is it trying what need rather is it trying to meet? So that might be again, you know, it might be very similar to the benefit. It might be a need for safety. It might be a need for accomplishment. It might be a need for, you know, uh, connection. So what need is it trying to meet? And you can even ask yourself, you know, what, once you uncover that need, what are some of the other ways that you're trying to meet that need without realizing it? It's a great question too. So where does it show up in other areas of your life? The next question you can ask, this is a really important one. Let's say you were to heal or overcome this pattern. What would that do for you? Not just what would it do for you, what would actually be next in your life? And, and you want to be specific, try not, not, try not to answer in a general way. Oh, anything's possible. Sure, anything's possible. Well, but what's, what specifically would be next for you? For instance, maybe you would make that phone call you're putting off. Or, you know, engage, engage in that new activity. Maybe you would make amends somewhere. Okay. Maybe you would put yourself out there in a new way. That you haven't yet make a video whatever so what would be next 
And again, a sim along the similar uh, vein, if you were to solve that problem, how would you feel? How would you feel about yourself? How would you feel about your life? Got a couple more off top of mind. You can ask yourself, let's say over the next week, how could you, um, how could you hold yourself to a higher standard in that regard? In other words, what would you be t determined to do? Just, just one thing, you know, one, something small, easy, simple, but something, what would you be determined to do this week, preferably every day, to begin to break through that pattern? Now that might be journaling these questions. That might be meditation, it might be prayer, it might be 20 phone calls a day, whatever that is. What, just what would you be determined to do? Um, and I'll leave you there. Oh, actually one other thing you could do, one other question that just occurred to me, is when you notice yourself falling back into that pattern, so you notice yourself procrastinating, in that moment, you have two choices. You can ask yourself, what can I do to interrupt this pattern and get back on track? Just right then. Maybe it's a glass of water, maybe it's 100 push-ups, whatever you need. Or, again, depending on the situation, depending on what, what's going on for you, you can also ask, what do I need or what would it take in order for me to accept this behavior right now? If you, you, know, if you can't really change it, how could you accept it? Knowing that it will change eventually. So with that, you know, I encourage you to write your answers down. You know, take, take your time, come back to it, reflect on it. You can use this with any problem. There's more to it than this, of course. But um, if you want to go deeper, you know, if you want to not just learn how to manage it, not, not think your way through it, not intellectualize the process, but really go really deep, you know, I'd be happy to support you. Just let me know. With that, I hope you have a wonderful day.